All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So another disorganized loss last night for the New York Jets. Three straight losses. This is something where, I mean, you just feel as a Jet fan like you're watching these games and the wins are right in front of their faces, but yet they cannot grasp them. They're finding ways to lose as opposed to finding ways to win. Uh, now, I'm going to do a separate video on yesterday's game, just kind of like extended thoughts and really just diving into it. But we actually have a new... Right, a, a new Hassan Reddick report, right? A, a new chapter in a book that just seems to never end. But Diana Rossini, Jordan Schultz, Zach Rosenblatt are all reporting that the Jets have now given Hassan Reddick uh, a chance to seek a trade. Now, will something get done? I don't know, right? I, I think it's it's a tough sell for you know teams out there to say, okay, you know what, I, I'll take on Hassan Reddick where we don't even know exactly what's happening. Um, he's not in football shape. He missed the entire training camp and everything like that. Uh, so there's going to be like a couple week, like, like at least a few week weeks of like an onboarding period for him to get ready, pick up the system, you know, learn the teammates and everything like that. Now he is a veteran uh, edge rusher who's pretty good. So I, I don't really think it's going to be like that big of a, you know, uh, transition, but I will say there is something there. So, you know, as far as compensation, as far as, you know, the timetable of this actually going down, if Reddick is traded, that's all completely up in the air because we just don't know what Reddick is at this point in time. Uh, again, we just have not heard his side of the story whatsoever. Now, there's a lot of talk about Devontae Adams, right? Potentially using him, uh, recouping a pick and then using that pick along with, uh, you know, more draft capital to go get Adams. You know, I, I think... It, it's just so tough, right? Because we're sitting here right now at two and four. Of course, the season's not over. There's so much football left to be uh, played this season. And last night, despite the loss, we actually showed a lot of new things on the offensive side of the football. We showed creativity. We showed a, a change, right? We were taking multiple deep shots. We were putting Garrett Wilson in the slot. We were able to find ways to get Brees Hall eff effective and, and get him going early. Garrett Wilson had a big day. Alan Lazard had a big day. Aaron Rodgers, I felt like, for the majority of the game, uh, looked pretty solid. And the Buffalo Bills are a good football team here. So... My kind of takeaway from that was that the Jets actually laid a good foundation. They kind of laid a blueprint on what to expect moving forward, right? This kind of felt like step one in a much, much, uh, you know, I, I guess maybe step one into change, step one into the Todd Downing play calling era, uh, step one into the interim head coach, Jeff Ulbrich. Again, despite the loss, which everybody's pissed about, we did look better on the offensive side of the football. So the main argument here when it comes to Devontae Adams is do the Jets or you know, do you want to give up more draft capital, right? We gave up draft capital for Reddick, we gave up draft capital for Aaron Rodgers. Um some of these draft picks aren't even on the team anymore. Michael Carter, Elijah Moore, you know, Makai back you guys like that, Zach Wilson. Do you want to give up more draft capital to go get Devontae Adams? Um who is owed money, who is, you know, going to like, you're not just going to go get him for a seventh round pick, or do we hang on to our picks and, you know, try to move forward that way? Uh, try to get maybe Malachi Corley involved, or do you pull the trigger, right? Do you, do you make it happen, right? The all in, the quote unquote, all in season that the Jets are in right now. Do you make that major push for Devontae Adams? And both arguments have, have good sides, but how this all kind of pertains to Hassan Reddick is... If you flip Reddick and you can get at least something for him, now you can sweeten the deal with the Raiders uh, and, and maybe not um, you know, die, uh, really dig deep into your own bag of draft picks, in other words. Um, as far as team fits for Hassan Reddick, I still feel as though the Arizona Cardinals are the top team that makes the most sense. He fits the system perfectly. He'd come in and be the best pass rusher on that team. He, he's going to be playing with his former coach and Jonathan Gannon, so he fits that system. He's going to be playing with a coach that knows his skill set and that 
you know, s someone who can really just deploy him in a positive way. So I think from Reddick's standpoint as well, he would want, like, it, it, he wouldn't mind going there, uh, as well as the fact that he's played in Arizona before. So he does know the area, he does know the organization and everything like that. So I, I still feel as though the Cardinals make the most sense. Uh, despite the Cardinals being young and rebuilding, you do f sense that urgency from the organization because it is year two of, of, of Gannon here. Uh, the other team, of course, is the Detroit Lions. Aiden Hutchinson, right, out for the entire season, it, it's looking like. So we all know the Lions, they are stacked. They are absolutely fantastic, but they need pass rushing help. And since that injury, we've seen multiple reports that the Lions will actually will be adding veteran defensive end help. Could Hassan Reddick be that boost that they need on the defensive, uh, you know, on the defensive line here? I think if I was a Lions fan, right, not really trying to get my head into like all the toxicity and whatnot, just looking at Reddick as a player. I, I mean, man, if you want to talk about getting a big boost that you can essentially buy low on in the midway part of the season, that's pretty sweet. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you want the Jets to keep Reddick? Do you want the Jets to trade Reddick? What do you think is going to happen? And does this kind of involve the Devontae Adams thing in some way, some form? Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.